Hello everyone and welcome to Autostop once again. I'm so excited to bring you this particular episode because the 2023 Honda Civic Type R has been around. We've seen so much of it, but this episode is actually dedicated to showing you the nitty gritties of what makes this Type R tick. Okay, we are going to go through the very little, little details of what they have done, the changes they've made, the modifications they've made and that will cut across the digital experience the equipment and the very essential components of this vehicle that has been modified or improved upon so if you are here for that detail don't go anywhere we're going to go straight to it and it's going to help you make an informed decision a decision to whether keep one or let it fly okay so guys without wasting much of your time let's just get down to the business of what they have done beginning with the engine and we know that it has a 2.0 liter vtec turbocharged engine and that turbocharge is a newly developed mono scroll turbocharger that is compact and lightweight and improves the rotational response on that premise we are expecting the raise in the output and torque of this particular 2023 honda civic type r and honda hasn't actually confirmed any of the numbers yet but we estimate it's going to be within the regions of 319 horsepower to about 315 horsepower we will keep following honda for that but that is not the only thing that was done to this vehicle take a good look at the image up there it shows you the exhaust i'm sure you probably might have heard of the exhaust sound of this um, 2023 honda civic type r in addition to the powerful exhaust sound the active exhaust valve mechanism tunes the opening degree according to the rotation speed of the engine and in addition to that the active sound control boosts the indoor sound and realizes an, an exhaust sound that springs up as you step on the accelerator guys so this triple exhaust is not just for show but it has a very utilitarian and functional purpose on this vehicle that makes it tick but the point is that you cannot talk about exhaust without talking about wheels and i'm sure you might have come across a video that tells you that the 2023 honda civic type r has a reduced wheel size that's true that's true but i bet you didn't know this the 19 inch wheel is wrapped with the 265 millimeter wide ties which is exclusively developed for the type r it comes in lightweight it has high rigid 19 inch aluminium wheels with a reverse slim structure that achieve excellent grounding properties and achieve high grip performance so guys that reduction is for a very good purpose and that will help improve upon the previous generation's output in terms of grip and handling but that's okay i am just going to go on and of course touch on the um huge rear wing spoiler that we've all seen and we all know that the rear wing spoiler is a symbol of the type r in fact it has been thoroughly done to pursue the cross-sectional shape and angle of an interception that adaptation of a lightweight stay made of aluminium die cast helps it to achieve powerful downfalls and low drag exactly what this front hole drive sport is supposed to do on the track that's just about the fourth thing but there is still more just hold on i'm sure you have also seen the steering wheel so round honda says that is what rules that's okay but it's not all about that if you look at the steering wheel properly you can tell that it's a specially designed steering wheel with red stitching using alcantara clothing for the uh, for the for the steering wheel which gives it an excellent grip and the torsional rigidity of the torsion bar is 1.6 times the older generation that's the outgoing generation and that realizes a steering wheel or a steering wheel that feels as if the road surface is grabbed by the wheels okay guys so it also has a utilitarian function as well as giving it an aesthetic cool look because it matches with the big honda type r logo that sits on the steering wheel 
okay 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 hold on there is something else that you need to see and that's about the sixth thing you've seen the drive modes yes the image there shows you the drive mode and then the up ticker and the down ticker to, to do the selection now there is something very peculiar about it i'm going to show you i'm sure you might have come across if not let's go down to it it is equipped with a new individual mode so all parameters of the plus r sport and comfort mode can be freely customized keep that in mind and when you've done your customization the settings are retained even when the engine restarts and so you can enjoy a drive feel right away when you want to in addition to the selector for the modes the up and down you have a dedicated switch to the plus r mode which is prepared so you can tell that plus r red button there that takes you straight into the r mode but honda did not leave that alone it came in accompaniment with what honda calls the meter display r mode now the r mode dedicated meter that's what you're seeing displays honda's log our driving information in addition to the tachometers so what we are looking at is an led lev indicator which is set up at the top to encourage smooth shifts and the severe driving conditions okay so uh, honda is giving you everything you need to make your driving experience so sweet so smooth and so enjoying right they also give you something else and that is with a teardrop six speed excellent manual transmission we found that on the outgoing generation and we expect this to be better yes of course it is better simply because a machined aluminum teardrop type shift knob is for accurate shift operations the truth is that the highly rigid six speed manual transmission has a dedicated link mechanism for type r to achieve a direct and smooth shift feel and i'm sure the outgoing generation owners will attest to the fact that that transmission is already excellent plus what is coming is going to be greater and better now is it all no i've got something else i'm sure you've seen that red bold hugging type r seats yes the vivid red seat retains the driver's maneuvering posture from the intense g on the circuit and on the track the special sheet with a polyhydron shape with a reinforced frame and high hardness part also takes into account the ventilation of areas where the body is closely attached so honda is clever enough and keeps thinking about you the user to make everything easier for you that is about the ninth thing that i've given you which is a very very detailed modification or improvement upon the previous generation but at this point i want us to go into the digital experience that you can find on this civic type r and i bet you would like it because it's got a whole lot of goodies so let me begin at this point with honda log r automotive app right so the digital experience begins with honda's log r automotive app it's a data logger application dedicated to the type r that is standard for an in vehicle navigation system right so in addition to the performance monitor function that displays vehicle behavior and various information it has an innovative function to automatically analyze and score driving data all that i'm saying is that you can enjoy driving experience while interacting with your type r and help you improve your driving skill and fun okay so what is composed of this honda's log r automotive app let's go down the first of it is the monitoring and the monitoring begins with this particular item so take a good look again yes this one and honda calls it the performance monitor for digital instrument display and you're given 12 items such as boost pressure display and display engine oil temperature and water temperature are also displayed as specific values and you can select and choose any from this 12 options right but it doesn't end there honda continues to give you something called that it is called the performance monitor tire friction cycle and 3d motion and i'm sure you are asking yourself or you're asking me to what extent can you bring out the tires ability in fact 
What you are looking out shows the movement of the car's body as visualized in a digital format. And in this particular area, you can actually change the color of your uh, car's body, okay, in this visualizer. And it all adds to the digital experience that honda is giving you but that's not the only thing you can also have access to the performance monitor g that's what you're looking at we've got about 12 items that you can customize from that's okay i am going to go on to the scoring when you find yourself on a track you have seen this page as well it is called the auto score and so what the auto score does is that when you are running on public roads the type r is always automatically checking your acceleration deceleration swivel etc and you can view your scoring results in real time so honda continues to make it interactive and interactive and that's not it there is also this one as well that you can find in the digital experience that is the data logs and it is possible for you to record full-scale driving logs specialized for circuit driving and in japan that japanese market there are 13 circuits that are certified that you can take your Honda Civic Type R to go and lap and take measurements and enjoy it. But after taking the measurements, what do you do? You also get to um, um, upload it. And so we'll get to that in the course of time. But there's something so lovely about the Japanese market Honda Civic Type R. And I hope it comes to the European market and other markets as well. And that is what you're looking at. They call it the limiter off. So the speed limiter release function is something I wish we all had it. In Japan, there are 13 circuits that are certified. And if you take your Honda Type R to any of these circuits, it is equipped with a function that can turn off the speed limiter. Okay, what I'm simply saying is that that's equipment that is put on this honda civic type r will use your gps to identify the course you find yourself and then it would ensure that the course is safe and secure once that equipment is able to do that it would put the limiter off and you can actually go beyond the 180 kilometers per hour that you wouldn't be able to do if you are not on the certified track and i hope the same construction idea concept can be carried over to other markets where we can have access to certified tracks or circuits and you can put the delimiter or the limiter off again if you're a social media person and you like to compare and put stuff out there you can actually synthesize the onboard video taken with a smartphone with the vehicle data while driving and also if you upload driving data to the server you can actually check the driving data with your smartphone and compare data with other users to measure relatively your performance that's whether it's a good one or a poor one and you can improve upon that so that is a digital experience i'm sure there are others that in time will find out but these have very detailed essential um, digital experience that you're going to enjoy but let me just wrap this whole conversation up with the equipment level and i'm going to talk about just two things in terms of the equipment those two things would be the interior color combination uh, or the color scheme that you have and the exterior color combinations or color codes or um, paint jobs that you can have access to and so we'll begin with the interior which is a red and black color combination as we've seen because it is a type r type r is red and black color scheming right so that's the only interior color option you have however on the external you've got five excellent beautifully crafted colors that you can enjoy on your type r so take a good look again i'm sure you've seen the championship white which is the most common one that we all know it has been carried over from previous generations and on and on and on however you also come to enjoy the sonic gray pearl yes and then you enjoy the crystal black pearl so you've got about three black pearls so we have the racing blue black pearl and finally the frame red okay so all these beautiful five colors are at your disposal which of them suits your taste and your visuals you can go for any of them this is what we found for you which is which is beautiful which is more detailed which will inform your decision making as to whether you retain one you keep one you get one or you let it go but we're great and we we bring this to you
from our whole heart. We thank you so much. Have a great, good day. And until we meet same time again, bye-bye.